Howdy, folks. Dr. Will Wong here. A very interesting question came in today that I thought you all would like to hear about because it leads to a bunch of other things. And the question is, if one has kidney damage or kidney failure, can the thymescence reverse this? And my answer is, howdy. It must be understood that the kidneys have no ribosomes in their cell structure. So the organ like the brain, heart, thyroid, etc., does not rebuild tissue that has died off, lowering function of the organ. What we've found in the last 20 years is that we have been able to increase the function and thereby the lifespan of most end-stage renal patients and in diabetic kidney transplant patients who generally only get an extra three years before the new kidney begins to fail. What causes the filtering fingers of the kidneys to die off and lower function is fibrosis buildup on the filtering fingers, otherwise known as glomerulosclerosis. In diabetes, for example, high blood sugar is the irritant that causes the chronic inflammation that creates the scar tissue and fibrosis that covers the filtering fingers. Anti-inflammation medications, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, cannot be used to stave off internal inflammation as they themselves suppress and kill off kidney function. The corticosteroids have far too many side effects to be used and leave the patient with a good quality of life, so that's not an answer either. Proteolytic enzymes have a proven anti-inflammatory action. Instead of suppressing the making of cytokines, some of which the body uses to run the kidneys and clean the liver, therefore the side effects of the NSAIDs, the enzymes can recognize the cytokines that are meant to cause inflammation by their tagging. And the enzymes can lice, can eat that pro-inflammatory cytokine. Enzymes are also the only thing in natural or allopathic medicine that can eat away at fibrosis and scar tissue and leave the needed tissue intact. So, they serve the dual purpose of decreasing inflammation without any of the side effects of either the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or the corticosteroid drugs while eating away the scar tissue fibrosis and amyloid deposits being formed by the body. In cystic fibrosis, it's the lack of endogenous, the patient's own proteolytic enzyme production, that causes the hollow organs, i.e. the kidneys, the lungs, etc., to fill with fibrosis from the chronic inflammation. Allopathic medicine recognizes the lack of enzyme production, but thinks that only affects digestion, ignoring the fact, the known fact, that proteolytic enzymes created by the pancreas cause an enzymatic cascade that creates 25 to 35,000 other enzymes that are used as biocatalyst to speed chemical reactions throughout the body. In pulmonary fibrosis, an irritant such as a textile, rock dust, Radiation, etc., causes the lungs to fill with scar tissue, restricting breathing. Here again, the combination of inflammation leads into fibrosis. For CF, for PF, COPID, IPF, my suggestions for treatment would be zymescence, one or two capsules taken three times daily. For renal conditions, zymescence, one or two capsules taken three times daily. Kidney chi, three capsules taken three times daily. The zymescence is from my company, Wham Essentials, at drwongsessentials.com. The kidney chi is from Chi Enterprises, www.chi-health.com. Kidney Chi is the strongest kidney support supplement made. There's nothing stronger. In cases of diabetic kidney transplant, where function continuously decreases and patients usually last only an extra three years post-transplant, we've had patients improve their glomerular filtration rate, blood urea nitrogen, and creatine numbers while increasing total urinary output. I lost track of the last such patient when he was at 10 years post-transplant. 
Also know that an empty stomach is not as necessary with this essence as it was with the older, weaker blends of systemic enzymes in the past. The older blends fear that a substantial portion of their enzymatic activity would be lost to digestion if taken near food, so not enough of the enzymes would be available for absorption and body-wide action. With the zymescence, that's not as much the case, and it takes only one-twelfth to one-sixteenth of the enzymatic action of one zymescence capsule to digest a Thanksgiving or Christmas feast. In other words, one zymescence capsule has the enzymatic action enough to digest 12 to 16 Thanksgiving or Christmas suppers. So taking the zymescence near food will not result in a loss sufficient to impair the systemic, the body-wide action of the enzymes. If possible, try to take the zymescence 30 minutes before a meal or 60 minutes after, but if that's not possible, take it anyway and don't worry. Also know that you can take any herb, supplement, medication, etc. with the enzymes, and it will not be adversely affected either. In fact, it's nearly a hundred-year-old trick in pharmacology that anything taken or blended with a proteolytic enzyme has improved absorption and utilization. Hope this answers your questions in the tail. Be well and God bless. Dr. Wong. And there you have it, folks. A quick and easy treatment for kidney diseases where the kidney is losing function, cystic fibrosis, and pulmonary fibrosis. And these are easily tested for with the pulmonary fibrosis patients. You can go in and test for SAO2, vital capacity. You can even take x-rays to show that there's less fibrosis in the lungs after a month or three of taking the enzymes. With the kidney patients, especially the first week or three, you can take a flashlight to the urine. Let's say the patient takes a tinkle. They let it sit there for 15 to 30 minutes. Take a flashlight and take a look at the bowl And you'll see floating above the urine these little tiny slithers that look like white fiberglass. That's the fibrosis coming off the glomeruli. Now, just because you take the fibrosis off the glomeruli doesn't mean that the glomeruli are instantly going to start working again. Those that have been covered for a very long time are probably infarcted. They're probably dead. They might not start functioning again. But some that have only been covered for a while might start functioning again. So that's why we usually see an uptick in the markers for renal function when patients start taking the enzymes and an even bigger uptick in renal function when they combine the enzymes with Dr. Chi's kidney chi at nine capsules a day. CF patients will have better scores on their kidney tests better scores on their pulmonary function tests, and they'll overall just plain feel better. So there you go. I've given you the treatment protocols for stuff that's completely non-toxic and safe, stuff that can extend lifespans and lower the malfunction of disease states. Notice I didn't say it was a cure. There may be some stem cell science 10, 20 years down the road that can rebuild new kidneys, rebuild new lungs, etc., But right now, all we can do is stave things off, make things work as well as we possibly can, and try to minimize the symptoms and increase the lifespan and make the patients as functional as we can for as long as we can. Chat again with you soon. Be well and God bless. I'm Dr. Wong.